altar of incense that was all before the veil leading into the Kadosh HaKadoshim. Hello? How can this be inspired? The writer of Hebrews, he even admits at the end of verse 5, he doesn't know any all the details of the, uh, of the temple service. Look at the end of verse 5. Hebrews 9, 5. He says, I don't know the details. The reason he doesn't know the details is not only is he an idiot, he, even could, he, didn't, he didn't even know where the altar of incense belonged. The altar of incense belonged in the holy place, not the holy of holies. And now if you look at verse 5, it says, no, no, no. In the holy of holies, verse 5, were the two cherubim, and the mercy seat, and the Ark of the Covenant. And right next to the Ark of the Covenant was the altar of incense. Oh my gosh. We got ourselves a problem here. Oh man. Are you glad you come to the Yeshua Synagogue? Oh yes. You can go to church for 59 years and not get this. And just read it. Oh, it's, it's inspired. It's in the book. It says Holy Bible, brother. It's right there. It's King James. Holy Bible. We don't question anything. We just walk like a bunch of robots. As long as they let me chew gum, I'll keep coming. Ooh, what do we do now? This is a good time to pray. Father, this is a good time to have power around. Because we know that the, the altar of incense was not in the Kadosh HaKadoshim. We know that the altar of incense was in the Makom Kadosh. It's a definitely good time to eat. What, what's the food back? <laughs> Onion rings? I'm down. How are you going to wiggle out of this one without some instruction? Well, let's get to the point. Some of you are hungry and thirsty after righteousness. So let me fill it. The golden censer of incense was indeed brought into the Holy of Holies on Yom Kippur once a year. Once a year, it was rolled in. Turn your neighbor and say rolled in. Let's try that again. Rolled in. It was rolled into the Kadosh HaKadoshim on Yom Kippur and was left there for an entire day in the annual Yom Kippur by Yikra 16 service to Yahweh. Listen, while the altar was usually, usually 359 days a year, going according to the Hebrew calendar, in the holy place, and not the Holy of Holies, the Kadosh HaKadoshim, on Yom Kippur, it was taken out of the holy place, brought into the Kadosh HaKadoshim, and returned back to the Makom Kadosh after Yom Kippur. Do you see why you have to understand this from a Hebraic perspective? Once a year, they rolled it into the Holy of Holies, and after Yom Kippur, they rolled the altar of incense back out to where it belonged, the Makom Kadosh. So is the writer right or is the writer wrong? He's right on. Because what is he talking about? Halloween? Is he talking about Lincoln's birthday? No. What is the topic? Forgiveness, atonement, blood, 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 forgiveness, atonement, blood, forgiveness, atonement, blood. What is the topic? How do we approach in a new order of divine service? Even the old order had this divine service. Now there's this divine service, and nothing changed except the priesthood that oversees that divine service. Are you getting this? Now let's look at that again. I like the King James here. And behind the second veil, the air was a tabernacle called the Holy of Holies. He gave a golden altar of incense. That's wrong. The, the golden altar of incense was not in the Holy of Holies. And the Ark of the Covenant, no, it wasn't. The golden altar of incense was not next to the Ark of the Covenant. It was in front of the Kadosh HaKedoshim. So it appears that the book of Hebrews is a bad joke because covenants are being done away with and New Testaments are replacing Old Testaments and the guy can't even get his facts straight. Couldn't he go back and read the Torah and realize that the altar of incense was in the holy place and not in the holy of holies? This guy can't even get his facts straight. Why should we believe anything he says? Because once a year, listen, on Yom Kippur, on the Day of Atonement, that altar of incense was what? Rolled, rolled, rolled into the Kadosh HaKadoshim. Why? Why did that one day a year Yahweh allow the altar of incense, the golden altar of incense, into the Kadosh HaKadoshim with the Ark of the Testimony? 
or, or the Aaron Ha'edut, the Aaron Aharon Ha'edut, the Ark of the Testimony. Why did Yahweh allow that? Listen, the reason for the incense and the incense altar and the incense holder all being allowed into the Kadosh Hashem Yom Kibbutzer for atonement, listen, was for the love of Yahweh for the Kohen. Because if Yahweh didn't put some sunscreen on that boy, I'm talking about spiritual sunscreen, he would drop dead. That spiritual sunscreen. Do you understand the Shekhinah of Yahweh? What do they say in the, in, the, in the Southern Baptist Convention? The Shekhinah. Okay, let's talk Turkey here. The Shekhinah. The Shekhinah would kill the Kohen Haggadol. And so Yahweh said, bring that in and put on some sunscreen because you can't, no man can see the Father and live. I'll kill you. This is going to serve to protect your life. Roll it in. Once a year. I'm not going to let you do it every day. You can't even come in the Kadosh Goshim more than once a year. But when that one day rolls around, you're going to need that protection. That smoke, that incense. Symbolizing the prayers of the Kedoshim will be allowed in my presence so that I will hear, forgive your sins on the mercy seat between the Cherubim on top of the Ark of the Covenant and you'll survive and the people you're praying for and the people you're interceding for, they will survive too. Turn to your neighbor and say, you're a survivor. You're a survivor. Turn to your neighbor and say, you should be on survivor. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. In context, the writer of Ibrahim is speaking about, listen, the divine order of service on the Moriah Temple on Yom Kippur. Go back to verse 1. Truly, the first priesthood had regulations of worship and an earthly kadosh place. And what went on in the earthly kadosh place on Yom Kippur was these things. And on Yom Kippur, the golden censer entered into the Kadosh HaKadoshim. My goodness. You know it's been in your Bible for thousands of years, 2,000 years? The golden altar of incense in the Kadosh HaKadoshim. Well, you see how they don't know this? This guy, does, he's not willing to study this. That altar of incense was rolled into the Holy of Holies once a year. You understand what I'm saying? But they don't know that. But they don't mind misleading thousands, saying the book of Hebrews is wrong because we all know that the altar of incense was supposed to be in the holy place and not in the holy of holies. We all know that. No, we don't all know that. Yeah, that's where it resided, except Yahweh yeah, made an exception one day a year. Amen? Baruch Hashem Yahweh. So he is elaborating on a statement he makes in verse 1 and that he made in Hebrews 8 and 13. He's elaborating that part of the divine worship and regulations of Yom Kippur was the bringing in of the altar of incense. Listen, he's elaborating on the divine service. And in the context of atonement, with Yeshua being our Kepora, or our Yom Kippur atonement, he mentions part of the divine service or regulations was the entering into the Holy of Holies with the incense and the portable altar of incense by the high priest who provided atonement for the nation. This is not an error, but a revelation. Didn't you receive it that way as a revelation? Huh? Didn't you receive it that way right now as a revelation? This is not an error, but a revelation. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Comparing the old atonement to the new atonement. Rashaul, Paul, the one who they don't know wrote Hebrews. Oh, we don't know who wrote Hebrews. Really? How many guys do you know were teaching Timothy and were in prison with Timothy writing from Rome? But we don't know who wrote Hebrews. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. They got a fool's teaching, you and your children. Rob Shul, compare anybody that tells you that you bring shouldn't be in the Bible is a fool. And we're greater fools for listening to that stuff. What's the best way to deal with this? Dear sir, Please remove my name from your mailing list. Yes. Rob Shaw compares the old priesthood 